Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today we're going to be checking out and playing with the new Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle products, both bronzer and blush. My channel a very special welcome to you I hope you will consider sticking around if you like what you see in today's video it is free it's easy and it helps you to find the rest of my videos when I upload Tuesday through Friday <laughs> I had to think about that Whew, it's been a long week so excuse the hair she's air drying we'll have a much better hairdo by the end of this video but today I just wanted to do a first impressions application and whatnot on the new Fenty products that I got for Mother's Day. I did try and dupe these products in my Sephora wishlist video and we'll see at the end if I really duped these out with the things that I already have and so on. But first I want to go ahead and swatch these products for you but I did save a little treat where's the treat okay ready oh let's put it by the mic ah, there's that one okay so the shade I picked up in the cream bronzer here is called but a biscuit I looked at macchiato and I think the depth might have been okay for me but it's a little more warm than what I actually prefer in a cream well any kind of bronzer for that matter so this is the shade I would definitely say that this leans a little bit more neutral than what macchiato look like this is considered to be for fair to light skin tones so there's that one and then in the cream blush it is strawberry dip and we're gonna peel this one too oh that was a good one Okay, right, to toss those away. I just love this color and I really don't have a blush in my collection that looks like this. So I was very excited about that. It is a little bit more sheer, obviously, than what it looks like in the pan, but that's a good thing, right? I like a buildable blush. <laughs> what I already have on my face is my Coats Face Moisture Lightly Tinted Sunscreen SPF 35 and my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in shade 23, and my Glossier Stretch Concealer in shade G10. And then I did go ahead and set my face, <gasps> a scandalo, <laughs> but I did go ahead and set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I have always, you know, this is just me, I can't swear how it will be for you, but I've always had good luck with setting my face and then applying creams on top. For today's purposes and just trying these products out, I'm going to go ahead and do a sponge, which is what I would normally use for cream products, on one side of the face, but because she also recommends either a fingertip or a brush, I'm going to go ahead and use the brushes on the other side of my face. And and then if we need to zhuzh anything up, then I will use my fingertips. So that's the plan, Stan. Um, and of course, we're going to start with the bronzer, but I feel like I want to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter real quick. Um, this is going to be my cream highlight today let's go ahead and go in with the bronzer and the sponge it's squishy but not super damp so i'm gonna go ahead and just pick some up woo, on the bottom on the butt of my sponge and start applying that over here on the temples that already looks like a really good tone to me i really like something closer to a neutral bronzer these days just because I don't get a lot of natural sun I always wear sunscreen so to me either a neutral bronzer or um, something with a little bit more of a red or rosy undertone is kind of like the money spot for me so I'm starting on the bottom the hollows of my cheeks for a little 
contour and then I'm going to diffuse the rest of the product onto the actual cheekbones kind of meeting up with the temple and so far I mean it's really beautiful it's very natural which I definitely like I'm gonna add a little more build this up and I am going to take this across the bridge of my nose today I've been doing that um, kind of the ever popular W <laughs> that was a V W so I kind of really like that because if you are naturally being hit by the Sun it doesn't stop right here and then this is white you know what I'm saying I really like the look of that lightly get the ear and we are going to use this on the chins today okay I think that looks beautiful so let's go ahead and apply the bronzer on the other side with the brush this is a Delium Tools Golden Triangle 958 duo fiber powder blending I use this for cream all the time this is my preferred brush for using my milk makeup bronzer stick which we will compare to this one um, because I suspect the reason part of the reason I'm not using the milk makeup one as much as I thought I was is because or was going to rather is because um, of the tone the tone of the bronzer it's a little too warm too yellow for me I don't know we'll see when we compare them I think that looks just as nice let's do the shakes I'm just going straight in and I love a really foolproof product like this not that I can swear to it. it's foolproof qualities at the moment again you know taking this along the hollows of the cheek first and then diffusing it upward but I like things that are buildable then you don't have to be you know so careful with certain things I feel like you have to just ever so slightly dip your brush in and be super careful applying it and it takes the ease out of using this type of product I still think that the um, sponge would be my preferred method but it works just as well with a brush if that's your preferred method I'm gonna go ahead and take this ring finger here pick up just a titch of the product and apply that directly to the bridge of my nose and kind of coming down toward the cheeks again just for that bronzy sun kiss look this is exactly where the Sun would hit on my nose if I was getting actual Sun because I wasn't wearing sunscreen or just you know we all have that natural deepening of our skin in the warmer months even if we are wearing lots of sunscreen it just happens so I love the way this looks loves it okay thank you but a biscuit all right moving on to blush again I got the shade strawberry dip I'm going to apply it on this side with the sponge I'm just going to tap the more pointed part of my sponge into the pan and start on the apples where I want the most product and then start working it back I was just so excited about this color I haven't seen a another color like this in a cream blush and I like a blushy look if you want to go softer then you go right ahead I think it looks nice with the sponge I'm gonna add a little bit up here because it kind of looks like my blush goes whoop and stops there so just a little blendage I really love that that's so fresh okay now we're going to get it on my shirt now we're gonna apply with a brush on this side like we did with the bronzer this is the elf 105 brush if I can find an actual name for it I'll put it on the screen but I absolutely adore this brush for cream products period bronzer blush highlight this was the first brush that I tried with the uh, milk makeup bronzer stick and I like it with 
the brush I use this for everything I use it for more liquidy blush cream blushes like um, the flower beauty blush bomb or the glossier cloud paint I mean I think you could go overboard if you're just heavy heavy-handed and you really grind your brush or your um, sponge into the product I do think you could overdo this but it'd be pretty hard because it blends beautifully and it does sheer out beautifully both with the brush and the sponge and I think if you just kept going over it you know eventually it would tone it back Wow that is pretty okay so how this girl does with cream products on top of powder is I just take whatever powder brush that I used that day no additional product whatever's on the brush still and I just press that over the powder products on my face and it doesn't cover up or take away any glow or anything like that but I feel like it feels like a little security to me that it's not going to move around on my combination skin. So I'm going to pop off of here. I have an eye look to film, but I will come back with my full face of makeup and give you my final first impression thoughts on these products. But I think it's safe to say they're pretty awesome. All right, here is the completed look. I do feel like I need a little bit more bronzer, so I'm going to go back in with that real quickly. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the brush because, <laughs> because, just because. If you like this eye look, you'll be seeing this in a new Reviving My Old Eyeshadow Palettes video on a Thursday. So watch out for that if you like this look i did have a little trouble picking a lippy for this i am a little limited if you've missed my shot my stash for the makeup i would replace first video i'll link that up in the cards but basically i have these lippies to use this month so the lippies that i used today was mac soar lip liner it's a nice pinky shade and then this satin lip pencil from NARS. All of the makeup on my face will be listed down in the description box if you have any questions. But before I get into my thoughts on these products, I did want to go ahead and swatch this one against my Milk Bronzer Stick. So here is the Fenty one, Butter Biscuit. And here is the Milk Bronzer Stick. You can already tell that the bronzer, milk bronzer rather, is quite a bit more yellow. I don't know, I just don't love that tone. And I think it might just be that I'm not tan enough to use that yellow of a bronzer just at the moment because, um, because I wear lots of sunscreen. So that's the difference between those two. I definitely don't have a blush in my collection. I can tell you with 100% certainty that I do not have a blush like a strawberry dip in my collection. I think this is gorgeous. Final first impression thoughts. <laughs> my thoughts on these products. I agree with the claims on both of these products. They don't feel greasy. They do feel like they have like settled into my skin so they look more like my skin and as much as this blush is really shocking to look at in the pan, I almost feel like it looks pretty damn natural on me. This is a very reminiscent of the type of flush that I get in my cheeks normally so I really enjoyed the color of the blush. I love, love, love this bronzer. I'm 100% like validated in my decision to buy this bronzer. I like the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I like the formula. I like everything about it, except I don't think the color is 100% right for me. I purchased the full size before they had the minis in different colors. I think one of the minis probably would have been a better shade match for me. But again, like I said, in the summer when I'm a little bit more, I have more warmth to my face, just naturally this will still work for me and it works well blended out. I will say that. 
but I love this one so so much I love the packaging I like the texture of the product I like the fact that it's buildable I honestly don't have a favorite application method between the two that I tried out today the blush I think I prefer this applied with the sponge but that's just a preference thing it worked just as well using a duo fiber brush those are my thoughts I feel really good about this purchase I'm really happy with these products I can't wait to use them more I will definitely update you with more final thoughts and videos to come and with all of that said I hope you enjoyed this little video remember I am not encouraging you to go out and purchase these products I'm only sharing with you the information I have while using these beautiful new gifts from my hubby and my kiddos for Mother's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying safe and well and that you're being kind to others, but most of all to yourself. And I hope if you're wearing makeup right now, and I hope you are, that all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful, blendful, perfect makeup days and I will see you in my next video real soon. Weird.